Let's do a two sample T test using Minitab. And for this test, I'm going to look at the furnace uh, Minitab worksheet. And what I want to analyze is the BT end versus the damper setting. So let's take a look at how we do that. First, I'm going to go to stats, then basic stats, and down to the two sample T. So the samples that we want to analyze are in the BTU in column. I'll select that, and the sample IDs are in the damper column. That's where we have our settings. Uh, the options, we're not going to change, but just to show you that you have a 95% confidence interval. Hypothesis difference is zero, so it's the null hypothesis. And uh, for the alternative hypothesis, the difference is not zero. And we're going to assume equal variances, so we tested the data and the variances for the two different damper settings are equal. I'll click OK. Graphs. Let's take a look at the box plot. That's a, an interesting graph to look at when you do this sort of a test. And now we'll just click OK. There's our box plot. And you can see that the uh, two sample means don't appear to be different. They're pretty close together. Uh, this sample actually has an outlier up here. And uh, the outlier is in row 37. And if we look at the uh, session window, we'll see the statistical results. And what we see is that when uh, the mean when the damper is equal to 1 is 9.91. And when the damper setting is at setting 2, it's 10.14. Uh, the test of the hypothesis yields a p-value of 0.701. And since that is greater than 0.05, uh, we're going to conclude that the differences are not statistically significant. And, of course, we also got the box plot, which shows they look pretty much the same. So that's how you do a two-sample t-test using Minitab.